Appreciate that. So we got a shoe right here. That's gonna make some people upset once again. It's nothing new, man. Jordan brand. When we gonna stop doing this, you know what I'm saying? But we do have a shoe that is kind of peachy, if you feel my drift. But we about to talk about it, man. And like I always tell y'all, a wise man once said, if you ain't early, you late. my man, you know the vibes. YouTube fam of what is good? What is going on with y'all, man? Your boy Jay is here back for yet another early review. Some more daily content on some shoes, you know what I'm saying? Your boy Jay has a shoe that is released at the end of this month, y'all. We are in the month of April, of course. And uh, this shoe is said to be releasing on April 27th. Retail tag on it will be $200. However, it will not be for everyone, y'all. Nope. This is another one of those exclusive women's exclusive shoes y'all and uh it only does go up to a 12w which is a 10 and a half in men and alongside the jordan 4 sofas bang which is set to be releasing this weekend i think that the shoe that i'm about to show y'all today is another banger but real quick beginning of the video i need to get some engagement from y'all first of all hit the thumbs up for your boy jay real quick comment down below y'all which you which you are you mostly mad that they didn't come in a full family sizing, whether it is the Jordan 4 Sofers, or maybe I should wait to ask that question, because y'all, some of y'all may know, some of y'all might not know what's in that box, but y'all can probably say y'all thought to the end of the video, but yeah, Sofa 4s this weekend, a lot of people got their eyes on it, I do have my personal in the building, y'all, so I will hit y'all with an on-feet review to these, that's my word, got that coming to y'all, so yeah, 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 so save yeah. y'all thoughts and all that for the end of the video, as far as which one you felt should have been a family size and shoe you know what i'm saying but we do got some georgia specials are they even called i know they called peaches but are they called georgia peaches nope. i don't know but we just we since we in georgia i'm calling them georgia peaches you feel what i'm saying but um y'all comment down below let me know man is this on y'all radar is it a pass if this is your first time stopping through i truly appreciate you pulling up and rocking out with your boy jay i need for you to stick around man look we getting a lot of viewers from people who are dropping through but y'all aren't subbing to the channel man make sure that you guys do subscribe to the channel because i'm hitting y'all with them dailies over here i'm hitting y'all with them earlies we doing it all over here man so we about to get the ball rolling even harder because i do plan on getting a lot of these shoes thrown on feet and we're gonna get back to the basics man so hey if you want to stick around and be a part of the movement of the fam man hit that subscribe button officially become a member leave a comment down below y'all if you have subscribed a year ago two years ago and you have never left the comment man leave a comment let me know that you are rocking out with the fam so i can respond back and let y'all know how i appreciate you and etc etc but yes outside of that man april 27th is the release that only shoes 200 dollars the price tag let me show you what them things is looking like yes sir yes sir you see the box man so the box does come in an air jordan three style box as you can see it does have of course the white part right here on this side and then on the other side you do got your cement style printing on it jump man on this one is a it's not a peach color y'all it's more of a, a orange you know what i'm saying it's more of an orange to me y'all it actually is just giving me shattered back boy vibes y'all between the cell type of hits on the box i said it was white before it's actually cell so you got cell on the box with the orange style jump man it's more of like a harvest like a a, a deep a pumpkin orange that's the best way to kind of explain that color but of course regular jump man on that side size tag reads WMNS Women's 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 Air Jordan 3 Retro Color Blocking is White Cosmic Clay. That might be the color. Clay. Clay orange for the Georgia peaches. But um clay cell and uh I do have a 10 and a half W, which is equivalent to a 9Y. I don't know why they put the Y. I mean it's really a 9 in men's. So a 9 men on this one. And uh, this is a size mine, if you feel what I'm saying. So this is a personal pair. Um, plan on holding on to these, y'all. When you pop open the box lid, you do get a lot number and you do got a stamp over here on the side, man. So we got both. We got a lot number as well as a stamp right there on the top of the box lid. Inside of the box, we get no white and green sticker. No white and green sticker. Nah, nah, nah. So it's pretty basic. No white and green sticker. We do, however, get some of this cement paper on the inside and beneath that we do got the jordan three 
women's exclusive peaches or are they gonna call them clay watch they put on the sneakers app clay something clay but here they go Whew. talk to me bang so here we have them y'all the jordan 3 peach set to be releasing um april 27th as of right now y'all very very familiar shoe to that of another women's exclusive y'all which they just flip flop the color around i see them doing this a whole lot as far as flopping out switching out these colors in these in particular areas like right here on the back right here on the lace areas they gonna swap all those around on on the upcoming women's exclusives we already had the lucky green threes which is Ideally the same exact shoe just where you have orange hits at you got the green but um And I think it got a red jump man. So it, well, it's it, it might be a slight variation because I think it's a red jump man on the lucky green three So they might have added an extra color on there, but yeah, we do got the uh Jordan three peaches y'all Bang y'all so here you have them y'all um When I first looked at them y'all with with just the all, all over white uppers the sale midsole on these y'all it does give shattered backboard vibes man um i can i can quickly say that it just first hand just looking at them i'm seeing shattered backboard vibes with these however the quality is nothing near well it got some nice quality on it it does have some nice quality on it i'm not mad at it it does have a straight leather on it it is not like a crazy tumbled on it but these are they clean man it's like something we've seen before as far as colorways there's not so much more that jordan brand can do when it comes to colors maybe they can if they link with somebody like cool kai because he'd be going crazy with the colors but i'm not mad at these y'all um like i said man very similar to that of the lucky green threes very similar just all over white shoe with the the hit of the color on it and uh the sale midsole are y'all tired of the sale man is it time is it time for Jordan Brand to just go back to the all over white midsoles? Y'all let me know. Um, I don't think the sale looks bad on these. Like I said, I'm just getting heavy shattered back boy vibes from looking at this shoe, man. But um, yeah, man, they are releasing at the end of the month. I do not like the white interior sock liner area, man. I can see it already going into a store, going into the women's section, and you seeing one of these on the shelf, and it's dang you know, black on the inside of that interior sock liner from just people just touching it and getting it all dirty from, from being in the store. I foresee it. Trust me, y'all gonna see it in one of my vlogs because um these will sell decent. They're gonna sell pretty good, but it's still gonna be a couple of these probably laying around at the end of the day, man. But uh, take a look at the bottom. Gives more Shattered Backboard vibes. The gray, the sale, of course, the orange. Um, um, the pumpkin orange that is man they got a nice little pumpkin orange hit to it but take a look at the stitch jump man right there at the top of the tongue and orange you know orange again on the back and uh that crafted pretty i don't know y'all i don't know because just looking at the the pair that i do have right here in my hand i can see one shoe is very smooth and then i got some lines or whatnot on my other shoe y'all probably can't see it from the camera try to do my best to show it to y'all but one is way smoother than the other you know what i'm saying but it is what it is man um throw some black laces in here it'll become a halloween shoe i guess i i don't know but i'm gonna throw uh some different colors in here and experiment with them and um i'm not mad at them you know uh not mad at these man so the georgia three peaches clean shoe easily could have been a full family size shoe because the orange color is not a women's color man i don't know what jordan brand be getting these ideas man um it's another shoe that was a women's exclusive that i can bring into the chat bang the jordan one are these called the harvest the starfish uh i forgot the name of these y'all but these right here man another all over orange shoe that easily could have been a full family size shoe because like i mean i I don't I don't see women's vibes when I look at this shoe but hey give the ladies they shoe I guess but hey if I could fit them I'm gonna get them y'all so y'all already know the vibes but take a look at the orange on this one take a look at the orange on here they are slightly slightly different slightly different you know what I'm saying hues but I just want to kind of give y'all a compare and contrast I guess I can also throw the shattered backboards in here to kind of like you know give y'all more of an accurate color of the orange that's on the shoe but the best way to explain it it's a glossed out like a pumpkin orange you know this is like a true pumpkin orange I want to say on this shoe but it's more of a, a flat you know painted shoe so it doesn't have that gloss hit to make it shine and look like it's brighter but um let me show y'all the shattered backboards which I think is a little bit of its own type of orange versus these two types of shoes. 
Bang! So here we do have the Aways right here, man. Shattered backboards. So taking a look at both of them from afar, it might look, you know, kind of similar in color, but when you put them close together, I mean, it, it might be another one of them things where you got the flat paint and the gloss paint, but it is slightly a different tone of orange. But um, I mean, it's 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 not too far off you know what i'm saying it's just one is glossy and one is flat but um yeah are these shattered backboard threes are these shattered backboard threes like i easily would say yes they are and um jordan brand look man once again another l when it comes to marketing because you guys could have marketed this shoe as a shattered backboard in my opinion and it wouldn't went crazy uh when i think about peach i mean a peach a peach is a orangey type of i guess yeah i guess it is a peach color but i wouldn't have looked at this shoe you know after the mock-ups or whatever and been like hey that's a peach i'm calling this a shattered backboard all day and i'm gonna market it as a shattered backboard we got to bring back the shattered backboard name put some hype on this shoe and uh you know we we back on the map you know but i guess they don't care that much to do that much thinking or put that much thought into the shoes but they decent, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, the Jordan 3 Peaches, which are set to be released, like I told y'all, at the end of the month, as of right now, hopefully don't get pushed back, is a decent shoe. I don't think, like I said, I don't think it's going to do crazy numbers. Uh, but, yes, if you are a 10 and a half and under in men, you get lucky. You can get your foot squeezed into them. Um, ladies, you got you another one. I think that these are going to look real good in smaller feet sizes, like, you know, when you put them together with a nice fit. They're going to they gonna be a decent looking shoe, man. But, um, y'all comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the Jordan 3 Peach or maybe Clays is what they might end up calling them. But yes, sir, we got to bring this topic back up. Like I told y'all at the beginning of the video, I wanted to get y'all thoughts and opinions, man. Out of these two shoes, like, I, I don't know, bro. I didn't think that this shoe had any type of feminine look to it at all. But I got to be honest with y'all. If I'm looking at both these shoes, I would lean more towards, okay, you could have gave these to the women. You know what I'm saying? But these definitely could have been a men's or a full family size shoe, y'all. Because nothing about this says that it's a women's shoe. That's just my opinion on it. But y'all comment down below, man. If you guys cannot fit either of these shoes, if you had a chance to get one in your size, which of the two would it be? Comment down below. Let me know. But outside of that, yes, you know we always early, which means we always on time with them. But um, yeah, your boy Jay is checking out. Y'all stay blessed. I will be back tomorrow and sometime this week with review and on feet of the Jordan 4. So for y'all, so stay tuned for that. We about to get the ball back rolling like I told y'all. No cap on that. But um, yeah, thumbs it up for your boy Jay. Georgia Peach Threes, exclusive to the ladies. And um, real quick, if you guys plan on getting any of the women's size and shoes, if you are a men's size 10, 11, or whatever your size is in a men, just go up a size and a half. So if you're a 10 in men's, 11 and a half W will be your size in the women's shoe. Because I know y'all might still question what size you wear when it comes to these types of shoes. And another thing, for those of you who say, man, I can't do the women's shoes. I can't do the women's shoes. Hey, spoiler alert. Jordan 3s were made for men. Jordan 4s were made for men. Michael Jordan shoe. It just got the women name on it because, you know, they're doing the women branding. But, hey, salute, ladies. Y'all got y'all another one. Your boy Jay is gone. Till next time. Peace.